got another special event as well, of a different kind, mind you. It's the first British television interview in 30 years with Agnita from ABBA, which will be fabulous. Yes, yeah, now all these people here are expectantly waiting for a fly pass, which we hear while the pilots yeah. are on yes, their Yes, we're way. on to ABBA, if you're a fan. Now, basically, Agnetta Falstock, she's been a virtual recluse for the last 30 years, but the good news is for all ABBA fans, she is back and she has given her first British television interview to us. Like thousands, I grew up listening to ABBA, which is why I'm intrigued to be meeting Anietta here today. She's back, and I can't wait to ask her why. So when you need me, darling, can't you hear me, SOS? I want to read you a review that I read about your voice mm -hmm. uh, from the new album, and I thought it was wonderful. The tender ache in her voice is still there, as if burned by love and the embers are still hot to the touch. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. It's um, always good to hear positive things. <laughs> well, tell me about the album. It's called A. I didn't know that I was going to do one more. I thought that my last record was my last record. Yeah. And uh, then when the guys, Jürgen Elofsson and Peter Nordahl, came to my house and presented three new songs. It was very good quality. I could feel a challenge to really do this again because I love to record. When you love someone, really love someone. And how was your voice after a few years of not, you know, singing regularly? Yes, it was a bit rusty to start yeah. with. I had to take uh, some singing lessons just to get back to that, that old feeling. It's going to be the 40th anniversary in 2014 of Waterloo going to number one and winning the revision. Are there any plans to celebrate that anniversary? <laughs> it should be. <laughs> yeah, we have now a, a museum in Stockholm as well. So there's a celebration every, every year, I think. Let's talk about the clothes. It's a big talking point about it. Were the clothes something that you chose? No, we had uh, two guys that were suing for us, and I must say they did a very good work. And it was good material to work in because it was a bit stretchy. Was it stretchy? Because yes. it looks pretty tight, the satin. Yeah, but it? it was stretchy, so. <laughs> but it was tight anyway. I recently um, did a sing along with a group of children, and I said, What song should we sing? Waterloo. Yes. Because they, they enjoyed Mamma Mia. Yeah. So there's it's, lots of youngsters loving Abba. It's so fantastic because it goes from generation to generation. Mamma Mia, here I go again. Mama, how can I resist you? Um, do you see the other the people in Abba? Yes, we see, now, we see each other now and then. Uh, I met Frida last summer. Uh, on vacation, uh, we, we sat down and talked very emotional and talked um, about nostalgic uh, memories and, and so. We have something in common that only we, the four of us have, have gone through. And yet in, in Britain, when we have weddings, there's mm -hmm. one song that is guaranteed to be played. Dancing Queen. Oh. Just gives you a lot of energy, I think, and happiness. Does it give you energy? Does it make you want to get up and dance? Yes, yes it does. She's back. Thank you very much, Keris. And Agneta's album A is out on the 13th of May. Yeah, well, Dan is back now. Dan the